Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm like disgusting. It's been a nice day today in day 475 of isolation, but it's Friday again. Friday, Friday. Can I get down on the ground? Alexa, play It's Friday. It's Friday by Derek Ryan from Spotify. No, by what's her face? <laughs> We're gonna get glammed up, um, just like last week. And this is like the one time a week I actually can be bothered to put makeup on. The rest is kind of compulsory for Mac. A lot of that is quite crazy makeup. Like, uh, I mean like blocking out my eyebrows. Roll, clip. bought a couple of new bits as well which i do want to try out i have swatched a couple of them just to make sure i got the right shades and i've also got other stuff on them i got the milk makeup hydro grip primer obviously everyone and their mother has heard about this primer i also picked up the beauty blender bounce foundation i don't know why i picked this up but i just thought it looked a bit fun the thing is i've never ever ever be bothered to splurge on a beauty blender like an actual sponge mainly because i thought it's a sponge why are you charging five million pounds for it but the foundation i've heard good things and i thought i'd give it a go actually did quite well on the color match um go me and finally i bought the huda beauty huda huda and um, tantor contour bronzer cream <laughs> this has been sung to the absolute gods i said last week i was gonna do a blue look however i'm actually gonna film that another time just because i'm a bad person i kind of wanted to do a natural look with like a red lip really flan wow flancied we fancied a red lip moment today haven't worn a red lip in a while red lip is my favorite i love a bit of red so we're gonna start off <coughs> oh, so I've still got like glitter and stuff all over my face. Basically, my mama Mitchell was doing, uh, he was doing like a live uh, makeup look, but at the same time he was adding people into the chat to have a conversation with him. And I caught onto this very late and ran upstairs, smacked on a green eye look um, and patiently awaited him to ask me to come on and he never did. <laughs> But it's fine. Wiped it off. Went and cried for five minutes, and then I was fine. If my eyes look a bit crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, lusty, shusty, that's why. Um, and I'm just taking the NYX chocolate micro brow pencil, and I'm just gonna start doing me hair light strokes through it. We're just doing sort of a natural bushy brow because I can't be bothered do a structured one this is going to be quite a quick and easy simple look for a lot of people to achieve and it will go with a lot of people's like skin type skin tones i don't know if you can see how much my freckles have come out today it was like scorching today like i was sweating <laughs> this is like one of my old work t-shirts fun fact he used to work at spoons if you don't know what spoons is it is a huge chain of bars that are open in the uk and i think some of ireland big big chain of bars um which sell alcohol for very very cheap and tim martin is a absolute and we're just gonna block that bit out because we're not gonna get into politics and nick's uh control freak roll no Brush it backwards first. Get all up in those roots. I'm actually gonna skip the eyes and go in with my primer. My new, brand new, actually no, I'm lying. So I kind of want like a glowy, glowy moment. Just, <laughs> I always overdo it with this product. I don't know why. I'm gonna rub the MAC strobe cream into our skin we want to look nice and glowy this foundation kind of gives me anxiety because like i've seen people use it and they literally like squirt it onto this bit 
make. No. And then we're gonna go in with that milk. Ugh! We're gonna go in with that Milk Hydro Grip Primer. See, I've heard huge, huge things about this. This was like the primer of 2019. It's literally just meant to be sticky AF and um, keep your foundation on. It's gonna do two pumps. Oh, it smells like, um, like aloe vera. Oh, I love that smell. So used to it because I always burn. <laughs> And we're just gonna start massaging that into our skin all down our neck. Oh. Does anyone else get really like, even though you've had your like nose piercings or ear piercings or whatever piercings, sometimes just like get really sensitive. Like maybe it's because I'm moving it too much. Mine isn't too old. Like it's only a couple of months, but like just heal already. I can definitely feel it starting to get tacky. I feel like primer is one of those things. So that you're very sort of skeptical about. Well, I always have been. It's the same thing with um, setting spray. Urban Decay All Nighter is the only setting spray that I've ever really felt like, wow, that really made a difference to how long my foundation lasted. So primer, I find can be very sort of temperamental and very um, hit and miss. But this I can definitely feel is very, it's, it's sticky. It's there, she's there. We're gonna go in with the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Um, I'm not getting it on this thing because it's just gonna stress me out. So we're just gonna take, I don't know, three pumps to start with. I'm here, sir. And <laughs> I really need to clean my brushes. Remember how like last time my brushes were so clean? The only makeup I've really been doing is for like this MAC competition. Um, and this week I did like some big rainbow look. Q clip. <laughs> based on um oasis's song champagne supernova the music video and i really enjoyed doing it i used to be like okay at art in school but not the best so to like go a little bit out of my comfort zone and do something a bit more like artistic and fun it's quite fun i enjoyed it first impressions that's just covered every tom dick and harry I'm gonna give myself credit where credit is due. Look how good that colour match was, and that was online. We're just gonna carry on patting that all over. This coverage is mad. The thing is as well, it's really easy to blend actually. Onto my eyes, almost like a little primer. Oh, anyone else really struggling with hay fever at the moment? I've got the ruddiest eyes, I've got the most blocked nose. I just like my face is constantly like itchy like it's on fire with how itchy my face is although it is full coverage it's very skin like so you can still sort of see my freckles around my nose so i actually really like the finish like i've still got like a glow to the skin and it doesn't feel too dry it doesn't feel cakey hmm okay i'm gonna go in with the huda beauty tantor first um i got this in shade light like it comes out quite cool toned and i'm just gonna start chiseling out my cheekbones and by patting it onto my hand that just means that i've taken off any like excess product when you're gonna get like too much product on your face and then you're gonna have to blend it out and it's gonna look really oh so it is definitely more cool toned than i'm used to however it's still got warmth to it okay she cute she cute i'm gonna keep going oh my god my nose oh 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 and something to itch it with please oh yeah that's the stuff oh so the thursday i'm uploading this it will actually be my 21st birthday so let me know if you actually want to see like a birthday vlog i suppose like a get ready with me and like a vlog throughout my birthday i mean i'm gonna be spending my birthday in isolation which is fine i've kind of come to terms with it now we did have like a big party plan and stuff but there's bigger problems going on in the world isn't there really i'm gonna take a little 
a little angle brush for my nose contour using the same product and I'm just gonna slowly bring that down the side of my nose and I'm actually also gonna do a little line here I'm gonna take my little bu buffing brush that out making sure it looks Oh, oh, oh. That can go back in its box. Does anyone else keep all their new stuff in boxes until the boxes literally fall apart? Because take my new-ish e.l.f. 16-hour um, concealer. And same as always, just going to do little dots up. Got a bit on the chin. And I'm going to start blending that out right up against that contour. Okay, I'm gonna just take a more domed brush, use this to help with my contour, and I'm just gonna start literally actually like buffing. Rather than just blending it out and now buffing it in, I'm gonna get a little bit more of that tan tour onto me eyeball a bit. I'm gonna go in a bit of blush, uh, Gingerly from MAC, and I'm just gonna buff that in. Mm. Dol Beauty Hall of Fame, blah, 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 blah. taking champagne and supernova because I don't want to touch shine bright or like a diamond because they look like they're about to explode. Pop that on the usual places so we look nice and gorgeous. I'll bring it slightly under my brow bone. Love this on the forehead. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm also gonna go in with the mineral skin finish in dark tan. Swell that around the pan. Do mean for that to rhyme. I feel very summery and bronze. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's a thing as well. No matter what happens around my birthday with the weather, like whether it's gorgeously sunny, whether it's snowy, whether it's like whatever, it always rains. Like so, my birthday is April thirtieth. Um, I bet you now, if you look at the forecast, it will be sun, 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 sun. My bad, like, rain. Don't know what. I did something wrong, apparently. Or well, apparently I should love rain, but um, I don't, so can we stop? I'm just taking the Fenty powder as per. I'm going to take the Maybelline Gel Lasting Eyeliner. This stuff is sick. If you, The second you put it on, it's not, it's not budging. I'm going to flatten the product onto the back of my hand. And I'm gonna just start by drawing a line out like that. And I go from like a centimeter from the top where I made that line and drag it down. Do that there. And I'm just gonna fill that triangle in. And I'm just gonna bring it in. Do I want to try and do it in a bit? Not really, but I love how it looks, so I'm going to do it anyway. Take um, like a little detail brush. I don't know what one this is, but it's from Morphe. From that line, just start lightly tapping out. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye. I'm going to do this off camera, sorry. I can see, like, obviously I've like messed up here and starting to imprint here so i'm literally just going to take a bit of um mafia from the mitchell palette um which is a really good black and i'm just going to pat over the top of my liner with that um i'm just going to quickly buff over the top just to get rid of any um f-rups <laughs> the lashes i'm going to be using today they're from tatty lashes i think they're the mitchell pair like either like T3, T4, or T5. I can't remember. Sorry. They're so full and voluptuous. I was actually meant to go to an event in Amsterdam in January. In fact, I still went to Amsterdam, but the whole reason I was meant to be going was because was to actually see Jeffree Star, Mama Mitchell, all in collaboration with Tassie Lashes. That's when the big Jeffree Star breakup came out and uh, everything got cancelled and I was really upset. But, you know, uh, I still had a great time in Amsterdam. It was great fun.
Would recommend. Um, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of black liner into our waterline just to re-emphasize that cat eye effect. And grab Monday, and I'm just literally gonna smudge the tiniest little bit of that under my lash line. A bit of mascara, Maybelline, um, the Falsies Lash Lift one. It's really good. Taking my lash and shoving it on my eyeball. Oh, it's such a, such a sexy lash. Oh, they look so good. Oh, you know when a lash just pulls everything together? That's what these lashes do. In my entirety of my makeup kit, I do not own a red lip liner, even though I work at MAC. Don't sue me. So what I'm actually going to do is take Jeffree Star Blur Liquid Lipstick in Unicorn Blood, and I'm just going to kind of line my lips with this because it's quite like a deep red. And then I'm going to take the NYX um, lip cream in Monte Carlo and just fill my lips in. I do like this, but I do find it's a little bit sheer. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the MAC Fever Glam uh, Original Lipstick. This is my favourite red. It's stunning. I would use it on its own, but I hate lipstick going everywhere. the perk as well of having that lip cream underneath has meant it's not as like drying and sometimes it's quite nice to have something a little bit more moisturizing on your lips rather than a fat liquid lipstick that's going to dry your lips out in like 0.6 seconds okay this is the finished look um i'm just gonna quickly get changed do me bar on it and i will be right back okay guys thanks for watching um this is the final outfit choice i went for like this cute little misguided like yellow jacket and shorts combo apparently i wanted to dress up like carol basket it's really cute actually um i got me naked wolves on which is fitting considering the carol basket joke that's funny but if you do want to subscribe please do um and while you're down there feel free to give it a like makes me look good also feel free to follow me on my instagram it's just lily barkway spelt the same way as my youtube name thanks for watching guys and i hope you have a lovely rest of your week and i will catch you next thursday because apparently that's my thing now in fact you'll see me on my birthday next week however this week the day the, well, you're currently seeing this on my birthday most probably however the week after that'll be my birthday vlog 21st living it up in isolation enough of that see you later guys have a good one